All right, we are back with Julian Sanders uh, from London Drugs, and it's interesting. You know, we're talking about uh, some. You know, we see things on on eTalk there, and so many different ways uh, to view content now. And of course, everybody's using lots of mobile devices to do everything. Uh, to do everything. But today, we're going to talk about one of the newer viruses that could really mess up your ability to communicate, called packet sniffers. Right. So, what are, what are we talking about here? Uh, well, basically, it's um, uh, a technology that's not a virus that just comes in and infects your system. Mm -hmm. without you doing something. Um, packet sniffers are a newer technology that are being used on even Apple computers. It mm -hmm. doesn't matter. So uh, was, was Apple supposed to be like invulnerable before? Is that what you mean? Uh, well, they, they have the uh, reputation of being invulnerable, but okay. it's kind of like uh, not locking your door. If you okay. have a, you know, you have a nice lock on your door, but mm -hmm. you never use it, yeah. it's kind of the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, so the whole deal with packet sniffers is basically when you're on an open wireless network, say mm -hmm. downtown uh, or at an airport, mm -hmm. uh, there's people that have uh, very easy to use software now that can grab the information that you're sending out over that network mm -hmm. and then they will uh, be able to analyze it later. So if you were to log into uh, your Facebook account mm -hmm. or go online and check your bank, uh, they could uh, take their time and get through the security that's already in place. Okay, so, th so what this sort of sounds like, I know we've often talked about people, okay, you know, uh, make sure you've got your security walls in your home security because people can drive around in their cars and if they're, they can set up and, oh, you're wireless and, you know, snap into it. It yeah. sounds like this is sort of a, a variation on that where if I'm simply in the airport, uh, as you say, or someplace with a, with a you know, I'll say, a, you know, a, a Wi-Fi connection or yeah. something like that, um, somebody at the next table can be actually dealing with your information. Right. Yeah, okay. so to keep yourself safe, there's a couple of little uh, common sense measures. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them is to make sure you always update your software, mm -hmm. no matter what kind of computer you're using. Mm -hmm. um, don't be scared to hit yes on the Windows update and the Mac updates that mm -hmm. uh, come by. Because sometimes you do get a little intimidated. It's like, do I yeah. really need to do that? Exactly. Yeah. Or some people think they slow down the computer, mm -hmm. okay. but it's, it's important because that'll keep you protected against most mm -hmm. of these infections. Mm -hmm. uh, current virus scanning software as well, even for Mac. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's uh, even on Apple's website that they recommend uh, running some form of virus scanning scanning software. Mm -hmm. That way if something does hit uh, the internet, you're already protected. Mm -hmm. Now, but, but does this, per I guess, what I'm worried about is that it's like, is the person at the next table over, does that uh, necessarily uh, preclude them or, or prevent them from looking at what I'm doing or dealing, uh, messing with my stuff? It helps. It's, okay. uh, it's one of the best things you can do. Uh, there's also encrypted connections on most websites, mm -hmm. um, especially banking sites. Uh, so encryption basically means that the information is, uh, except to the person seeing it and mm -hmm. to the person that broadcast it, mm -hmm. uh, the information is uh, basically random bits and bytes. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you were to to break in and analyze it, it doesn't mean anything. So the way that you tell if you have an encrypted connection mm -hmm. is just where you uh, type in your address bar um, on the uh, www field. There's a little padlock icon. Yeah. So if you see that little padlock, mm -hmm. uh, you know you're safe. Even if you're mm -hmm. on an open Wi-Fi mm -hmm. network, 99.99% uh, of the time, you'll be OK. okay. It's uh, just that people uh, need to make sure that they've got current virus scanning software. And uh, that way, if somebody leaves something behind, even trying to get through your encrypted mm -hmm. connection, the virus scanner should catch it. All right, that sounds good. Some great advice there, especially as we get into the busy uh, holiday season that is coming right around the corner. Thank you so much, as Thanks, always. Jeff. All right, Julian.